Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't very often record at night, but I just was quiet tonight, so I thought I'd just take the opportunity. Sorry about my hair sticking up and all that. So <laughs> that's too bad you have to put up with that. Um, anyway, um, I just thought as a quiet moment, I my dad and my mum, but my dad was my inspiration in getting into photography, and he was an amazing jack of all trades, accountant by trade, but he was a brilliant photographer and he got me started in photography. Um, and he was doing it from a very early age. And um, he took a lot of photos of my mum and me when we were younger and family. And when he was in the Air Force, he took a lot of shots there too. And he was an all-rounder. He was interested in lots of things, sport and uh, boats, yachting, um, the Air Force, family, tennis, uh, motor racing, you name it. I'll put some links underneath this to some of the stuff I've written about my dad on my blogs, showing some of his other photos that he's done. But I just thought I'd share a few photos that I just gathered together tonight and um, we'll uh, have a go at those. And I'll just talk about them as we go through. What I find interesting when I look at my dad's photography, he takes a lot of photos that I would take. <laughs> and I seem to have the same eye or the same interest and the same composition sort of values that he had. So I don't know whether how that happens, but that's what happens. So where are we going to go from here then? I've got all these photos prepared the first one that i'm going to show you i'm not sure that that dad took it but it's my mum and it was about when about when um he was first going out with her and uh my mum had film star looks right until to her old age really and uh so i'm going to share some of these photos this first one is of mum so let's have a look and see what we can do here share the screen we're going to make this go big here. We'll view that as full size into full screen. Now, there you go. So, and I'm up in the right corner. So that's mum. And I'm uh, not sure whether that's beautiful lighting on that. And um, not sure whether that's a studio photo or that's one my dad took. I suspect it's not one that my dad took. But anyway, there you go. Um, just going to show you, that's, that's a shot I took many years ago when they were in, bit older not all that long before my dad well probably a few years before he died he died when he was 70 and they were leaving our place one sunday morning they'd been over for a ride to our house and i took that from our the, our front uh, garden and waving goodbye as i rode off on their bikes and this one here is some years ago my dad's pentax kx there which i still have and i use and it's a favorite pentax camera that's over in the snow in uh, victoria mum and dad some years ago it's a favorite shot of mine i think it was taken by my uncle ron who was also a keen photographer mum and dad are now both deceased and that's a favorite family shot mum and dad went on holiday to queensland and they had this old um fx i think it was it wasn't an fj this was the first holden car that ever was made that particular model and uh mum made that tent that canvas tent there <coughs> and uh, they were camping out in the middle of nowhere on the way to Queensland. And uh, we actually uh, had that photo in the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in the Adelaide Advertiser not all that long ago. And that's one, I think I took that photo on my Pentax Spotmatic in the backyard many years ago. And uh, that's one of my favorite shots as well. Dad's shed down the back. He was a keen home handyman. He built boats, he built caravans, he built kitchens, all sorts of things. Now, of course, when I was young, he uh, started photographing me. I was the first one, the oldest. And this is my first introduction to photography, holding a box brownie. There you go. You see a few shots. Now, this one here, I actually remember being there. This is my mum when she was, mum was um, uh, a young mum and very beautiful as a young person. And, and uh, I remember actually being there at the time when dad took these photos and he was using a... Um, a, uh, a large mirror to reflect the light coming back through that window back onto mum. Very talented. And when he was in the Air Force, he, uh, he used to um, uh, take photos in the camps in the RAAF. They were based up in Darwin in the Northern Territory. And he took all these amazing photographs of the guys that he was camping with. This is a guy having a haircut and a trim. A couple of guys just pitched up a lean-to shadow there. These were all processed and developed himself in his own home darkroom, taken on a um, uh, Kodak Retina folding 35mm camera, which I have talked about on my YouTube channel before. Here's some other guys there. Someone riding home. 
repairing the tent or the awning. He might have been the one that had the haircut there. He's been shaved off. This is someone reading. I love the silhouette effect of that shot. Here's the next one. This is the aftermath of the haircut. Yeah, I reckon it was the same guy. <laughs> I love the expression on that guy's face on the right. And that was into motor racing as well. I've got lots of motor racing shots that he took in the, um, they used to go to Malala and, and he was keen on um, hill, hill, uh, hillside scrambles and all sorts of things. That's back in the RFF camp up in the Northern Territory, someone catching 40 winks or contemplating life. That's my dad when he was about 16, taken out the front of his own house uh, many years ago. So Malvin Star, that was a famous South Australian brand of, mo of uh, push bike in, in South Australia. Some more shots inside the, the army, inside the RAAF uh, camp in the Northern Territory. These are all fantastic. Just natural lighting taken with his little Kodak. I love the uh, just the casualness and the expressions on these guys. They obviously uh, were keen on my dad's photography or were tolerant of him. <laughs> my dad was a bit like me. He was into everything and um, and uh, had a go at them. People are always complaining about me taking photographs of them. A few marks on some of these, but that doesn't matter. You can see the the general drift. I've still got all these negatives. This is at the Adelaide Oval in a grand final some years ago, I think, in the old Adelaide Oval. Not sure who's playing, but Dad uh, took a few shots that day. I, I won't show the too many. There's a few fingerprints on the negatives there. I think that is a uh, yeah, another shot. I took a I cropped into on one of the shots to show these guys going for a mark. Oh, that's the same one. So that I cropped in on that one there. Now, Mum, of course, was his favourite photographic subject when they were young and when they were first married and, and, and afterwards. This is up on the hills overlooking Adelaide. Beautiful, pensive shot. Mum looks like um, if you met some of my young nieces, um, daughters of my brothers, a couple of them look exactly like Mum. And that was me with our my first favourite pet cat called George. Years ago, this is at West Croydon where we used to live. And that's my grandmother who came from uh, uh, England as a First World War English uh, Australian war bride, married my grandfather who was a digger in the, in the um, army. That's her holding me again in the backyard at, at, at uh, Rosetta Street in West Croydon. And that's mum holding me. Keen on footy, of course. And that was a favourite car. Got some good colour shots that Dad took of that, that uh, sitting on that car. Keen on tennis. These tennis courts were just across the road from where we lived in the early days in West Croydon, where my grandparents lived. And uh, a couple of those courts are still there. I used to play there from dawn till dusk in my school holidays. Back again in the backyard. Some more over there at the tennis courts. And that's uh, mum and my grandma. Some horses, I'm not sure where that was. Could have been at a lake where the Catalinas, my dad used to fly Catalina aeroplanes. And that's the Catalina splashing down, taking through one of the bubbles on the side of the, the plane there. My dad used to be a pilot on Catalinas, so, but I'm not sure whether he took that or he, I think he must have, it was on his camera. And of course, mum was his favorite model. This is a while back now. There you go, there, there's dad in his uniform. And that one there, we used to have lots of movie film nights and slide nights, of course, and that was a, a movie film night on the old UMIG P8, um, showing standard eight movies, I think, at that stage, propped up with books and things underneath to make the thing go higher. I think that was up at Renmark. We were having a, a movie night up at Renmark. That's my younger brother, Greg, the shot that my dad took years ago. That's Dad using one of his movie cameras at Lake Merity near Renmark. He was keen on stills and movies. And that's a short shot he took of uh, Mum and my younger brother, Greg, who you saw just a minute ago down at West Beach. Dad built a yacht at one stage and they used to, it was a signet sailing ding dinghy and uh, he raced it for one whole season down at the West Beach Sailing Club. 
Coming back to mum again now. Beautiful backlighting there. I think that's the last one. So there you go. We'll um, stop the sharing and I'll come back to me. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll put some links underneath where you can read some more about my dad and his photography and what he used to get up to. But I hope you found that interesting. Um, he's the reason I take photos, really. He was the first one to show me how to, how a, what an f-stop was and the shutter speed was and all that sort of stuff. And uh, uh, a remarkable man. Died far too young when he was 70. So thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you wish, and I'll see you next time. And now I've just got to get out of this and see if we can close it down.